Bon. <rire> well, well. Here I am. I'm Marcel Lucon. In case there was any doubt. Actually, I think this should be the decor of all. Every room in the world. <laughs> well, it's my first time to play this show. It is, of course, an absolute honor for you to have me here tonight. <laughs> I will talk at you for some time and then go. <laughs> it's bizarre as ever to be in England. Strange attitude. Trying to make a shop in Tesco. <laughs> Supermarché. And the woman grows angry with me because I have 11 items <laughs> in my um, jacket. <laughs> you have so many things, Tesco. Give some away. I won't lie to you, I'm quite drunk. <coughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> It's okay, I still get paid. <laughs> I'm very generous with alcohol. Before this wine, <laughs> more wine. <laughs> Before that, uh, three, maybe four beers. <laughs> It's cool, you know what they say, beer. And then wine makes you feel women's breasts without their permission. <laughs> Look out. <laughs> nice boots. <laughs> little, little leather boots. It's cool. Not big leather, not fuck me boots. Finger me boots. <laughs> This is no professional drinking. Oh, don't drink during the show, before the show, marché, leave it till after the alcohol. <laughs> In the words of Berlusconi's inner monologue. Fuck that. Arrived this summer in England, beginning of British summer time. <coughs> <laughs> Seemed to go really well. <laughs> Five days of summer. It's fun to read on the front page of your national Bible, the Sun newspaper. In front of the Sun, it reads Remember, clocks go forward. <laughs> the English have to explain the nature of time. the entire nation. Disappointed not to read the following day. Remember, crabs go sideways. <laughs> Was there for the Jubilee bullshit as well in London? <laughs> Kissing your sovereign's ring for two extra days holiday. <laughs> Thank you. Subservient bastards. <laughs> Never understand how you treat royalty in this country. Hmm? We <laughs> decapitated us. <laughs> you choose to leave yours out in the rain for several hours. <laughs> you force them to watch Cheryl Cole. <laughs> It's more cruel, if anything. You are at least learning how to protest in England. A little too good at it last summer. <laughs> Occupy movement, big for you. Took a while to catch on for us. The phrase Occupy France did not settle well. <laughs> Thank you, Germany. <laughs> I feel for you, England. The coalition, no, oh, it's not working. No. Who would have thought oh, we get someone from the right, someone from the left put together? Harmony. No. 
it's fucked. Of course it's fucked. <laughs> always to be fucked. It was always going to go this way. I feel for you. The dichotomy of your coalition is what I feel in my own body. Often my brain will come with a liberal thought only to be vetoed by a penis. <laughs> At least I know my penis will never withdraw from Europe. <laughs> but I live now in London for too long. It's so expensive in this town. My friend Jean-Luc and his lover, they buy the apartment in London, I go and visit, I look at the size of it, I say, Jean-Luc, you have paid this much, and it's so small, there is no room to swing. <laughs> and I was right. You know, the, the orgy that night was really cramped. <laughs> so let's both move back to Bordeaux. <laughs> I would not mind the price of London if it all worked. It does not. You go in the shop, can I get this done? Uh, I don't know. Uh, all idiot children working behind the counter. It's no good. Call me old-fashioned. I just don't think the phrase, how can I help you, should be rhetorical. <laughs> the only city in the world where the phrase, take care, sounds like a threat. <laughs> children are useless anyway. Useless. We have seven billion persons in the world. Oh, we need another child. No. No, we don't. Stop it. Useless. By the time a child is big enough to carry anything useful, it is old enough to report you for making them do it. No to me, children, they are like bongo drums. Slightly irritating. It's fashionable for the rich to bring them back from Africa. And persons tend to grow angry if you beat one in public. Winter time is here, Christmas almost upon us. Not a fan of Christmas at all. Where I'm from, we don't so much celebrate Christmas, more New Year. My father said, Marcel, better to celebrate the passing of time than religion. Religion, he said, has been the cause of death for so many persons all over the world. I never wished to point out that time is just as guilty of this. <laughs> If not more so. <laughs> At least in France, we appreciate the winter, the snow. You enjoy the snow? Yeah. White shit from the sky. <laughs> I don't think in London you do, you don't appreciate. When the snow arrives, you say, oh, oh, clear away the snow as soon as we can. <laughs> it may contain terrorists. Get rid of the snow. <laughs> Us, we frolic, we enjoy the snow, we build, we build ourselves the bonhomme de neige, the uh, uh, snowman. Of course, so much better, bonhomme de neige, a good man of the snow. We are proud of him. We build him up, give to him strong shoulders, a good scarf, a good hat, a pipe, if he is lucky. <laughs> In your country, you say, well, let us build an effigy of a man at whom he can pelt snow until his fucking head comes off. <laughs> So brutal. It's a terrible way to go. Imagine to be decapitated by your own balls. That's what you do. Well, it's time for a little bit of poetry. I am the self-published, self-award-winning author of several books of poetry. I'll give to a choice. No, I won't give to you a choice. <laughs> Some of you may know my work already, the classic poems, my ode to sex in the public lavatory. <laughs> Baise-moi ce soir dans le pissoir. <laughs> my ode to erectile dysfunction. No hard feelings.
But tonight, my ode to the breasts of British women. The tits of the Brits. <laughs> breasts of the British women, supposedly the biggest of Europe. <coughs> Don't be proud of this. <laughs> breasts of the French women, perkiest of Europe. It's a fact. <laughs> Girls of my town are made to stand on their hands for one hour a day. Just to really make the perky. Response to the large British. <laughs> <clears throat> the tits of the Brits are the biggest and best breasts in Europe, they say. But who are they to say? And is biggest best anyway? When they stay out to play in a man's randy hands, will they stand to attention without intervention? <laughs> and that's not to mention the standard of man you'll encounter when touting your mountainous peaks. Men who drool like a fool and truly lose all cool as they stare all the while at the vertical smile of a gleaming, heaving cleavage. <laughs> when the men end their frenzied endeavors with haste, ignoring your face, the phone's up, and although the decop runneth over, the owner's alone. Now the boner has gone. <laughs> The petite titty sits pretty when tipped up. It's tipped up when on top. The sleek, subtle peaks within reach. Each a pink, pointy peach. <laughs> Pity the big titty who claim superiority <laughs> when in later years gravity interferes so instead of two spheres they will smother your ears <laughs> as you sleep in your bed dreaming instead you are blessed with a chest which may not have impressed the testosterone drones who won't rest in their quest to squeeze handfuls of flesh while the smartest <laughs> artist that biggest is not best. So, now I have made friends with you. <laughs> Shoot off into the night, see what London can offer to me. Don't hope for much. <laughs> First arrive, I say, where can I find the women? Oh, Marcel, go to the nightclub. Oh, of course. I'm looking for a woman covered in 500 other men's sweat. <laughs> Who enjoys to be shouted at while deafened also by shit music. Oh, the nightclub. <laughs> it's no good. Eh? Don't enjoy the London nightclub. I find the women of the London nightclubs usually very similar to the toilets of the London nightclubs. <laughs> They are either engaged or vacant. <laughs> Some of them are disabled. But... <laughs> that has been it from me. I have been Marcel Lucon, and in many ways, I still am. <laughs>